this one guy holds up these scrolls and he says, Jesus Christ, because they're so heavy. And I imagine being a Jew, having to do that, you know, bar mitzvah every time. I loved how Cy Abelman knew he had power over Larry the first time they made contact and he pushed him up against this uh, cabinet in the kitchen and just told him, you know, what he was going to tell him. And I, I just think it's so funny how Larry can't find the guts to stand up for himself. And I think we've all been there and that's why he's so relatable. I think another really funny scene is when Larry's talking to his lawyer about um, Uncle Arthur and he's just in utter amazement of the fact that like his brother Arthur could sodomize somebody and he says, I just don't get it, he goes to the mixers at the Hillow House. <laughs> just too good when um, the guy from the record company uh, calls Larry back and he just goes to his office very fast and he says, heart attack, call back. It's like Larry just can't escape from this madness and after seeing that guy die right in front of him near the, next to the lawyer. So in the end, Serious Man has some amazing jokes. Ones that won't ever get old and it's a rewatchable movie. One that you can learn more about every time. And um, The characters are so well written. It's just like watching real life and it just doesn't feel fake in any any portion. It's just they just nailed it. Um, uh, especially especially Arthur, um, Uncle Arthur. He was just on his game and you just really felt the sorrow in him in, in that scene where he's crying with Larry. Man, uh, I can't wait for another Conan Brother movie. So the funniest scene in the movie, probably say, Gulta Crash. <laughs> but the best part of the movie is the ending. Um, the music just chimes in perfectly. Uh, that very last scene when it's raining and Larry's, you know, got that phone call. I just love everything about it. It's just so visually artistic and... You know, it's just what I want. It's a good climax. Good Conan Brother climax. Favorite characters gotta be Larry Gopnik. My least favorite character was Larry Gopnik's wife. She was a bitch and she played a good one. You know, she was not likable and annoying. So, was this movie appropriate in the time length? Yeah, I felt like it, you know, didn't overstay its welcome. It wasn't too short. Whenever the music came in, I just kind of just sat back and enjoyed the movie. I just I loved every time the composer came in and gave that tone. Yeah, from uh, an interview with Joe Cohen, he said this movie is based off people they knew from when they were kids. It's definitely their most personal movie, one that is well-deserved. They couldn't just come out with this on the spot. It took a long time in the making to, to get this to get exactly what they wanted um you know great job so i'm gonna give this movie a five out of five i totally recommend it i'm gonna be watching it a lot more i've watched this movie i'd say like two and a half times now like the second time it just made me want to watch it again i just i really enjoy it it's just a movie that you can go back to and rediscover something about a character, you know, and like hear something you didn't hear the first time and it's just um, like the characters are so well thought out and planned kind of hard to take it all in at once you know like it's like these people are so well defined and you're like wow like there's so much information to process I'm great on their writing skills I guess that wraps it up I'll be back with another Conan Brother movie here soon uh, if not I will probably do something more recent, like something that's out in the theaters. All right, thanks everybody. See these discs here and actually be able to read them. I uh, had my iPad very close and you couldn't even read the discs. So here they are. Got some PS3, got some Blu-ray. These are my favorites right in here. 
I only try to buy Blu-rays now. Got your Breaking Bad, All Seasons. Got some crazy conspiracy ancient alien shit. And Lost, I've never even watched it all. I actually haven't seen the sixth season, but I own it. That's my collection. It's pretty small and it is growing every week.